digital images, digital multimedia broadcast, the internet. A large variety and volume of data and information is being exchanged continuously around the globe. Submarine telegraph cables were first brought to the world in the 1850s and now have evolved into optical fiber cables which enable high capacity transmission and take an essential role in the information and communications network society. Communication coursing through the world day and night and an enormous amount of data. Optical submarine cables, arteries supporting this flow of information and communication connect every part of the world. Since its establishment in 1966, Coxi Cable Ship Company Limited, known as KCS, has been engaged in the installation and maintenance of submarine cables, which are infrastructure for international communication networks. KCS offers not only the services of the cable ships, but also a wide range of services that make the best use of the expertise and high technologies accumulated through rich experience such as the installation of earthquake observation systems in seas around Japan and in a survey on whale behavior using our autonomous underwater robot. Cable ships are major players in submarine cable installation and maintenance. Having outstanding cable ships and excellent engineers guarantees and maintains high quality cable work. KCS efficiently operates two cable ships with highly sophisticated equipment for cable laying and maintenance, the KDDI Ocean Link and the KDDI Pacific Link. KDDI Ocean Link was built in 1992 with state-of-the-art technology for cable handling, navigation and DPS. It was intended to be actively operational under rough ocean weather in the North Pacific Ocean during the winter time. She has contributed to not only cable installation, but also the maintenance of important submarine cable networks linking Japan, the Asia Pacific and other countries. Currently, KDDI Ocean Link is working full-time throughout the year on cable maintenance in the Yokohama Zone fully exploiting the advantage of experience and high technological skills gained in laying the Trans-Pacific cables. KDDI Pacific Link was built in 1993 and was originally designed as a dedicated support vessel for North Sea oil rigs. She was converted in 1997 and inaugurated as a cable ship in 1998. KDDI Pacific Link is a mighty cable ship as she is equipped with 360 degree rotatable propellers, two reliable azimuth thrusters and three units of bow thrusters. These have the distinguished ability to keep the KDDI Pacific Link in one position for a long period of time. Let's get on board the KDDI Pacific Link and take a look at some of the cable laying work. The key focus of cable laying operations is to design and determine the most suitable speed of the cable payout and the ship, considering the water depth along the cable laying route, the ups and downs of the seabed and the types of cables being laid. One end of the cable is paid out by the cable ship towards the shore near the cable landing station. The balloon boys are attached along the cable in order to diminish the weight of the cable and to stop the cable deviating from the cable route during this phase. Then the ship starts laying the cable towards the opposite cable landing station. The landed cable is terminated at the cable landing station and is connected into a land-based infrastructure or network. There is a possibility that cables will be damaged by fishing activities or anchors of large vessels in water shallower than a depth of 1,000 meters. In order to protect cables against such damage, there are two main methods of burying cables under the seabed. One is to use a towed type burying machine called plow, which performs the simultaneous operation of cable laying and burial while towed by a mother vessel. This method enables a shorter laying period and is suitable for new and long haul operations. Plow is burial equipment capable of burying a cable up to three meters under the seabed. It digs trenches with water jets and by using a specialized blade and can then put a cable into the trenches. This machine can be used in water depth up to 1,500 meters and is generally used for cable installation. The other method is to use a swimming type ROV, remotely operated vehicle. 
Marker 3 can be used in water depths of up to 2,500 meters for the support of cable operations. It has three high-powered electric motors capable of generating 600 kilowatts and is capable of burying cable up to 3 meters under the seabed using water jets. It is also equipped with an underwater camera and sensors which enable it to measure the burial depth and position and to record the status of the buried cable under the seabed. Furthermore, it is equipped with multi-joint manipulators for efficient supporting work in the cable operation. Presently, KDDI Pacific Link is the only cable ship in the world equipped with two underwater robots, Plough and Marcus 3, which are both capable of 3-meter burial. A buoy is attached to the cable and is released once on the ocean. This facilitates cable recovery onto the ship when connecting with the other end of the cable. Two sets of both main and spare cable tanks are installed on board. These are capable of being loaded with more than 5,000 kilometers of lightweight cable for deep sea use. Regularly spaced repeaters are connected to the cable at regular intervals to receive the optical signals and retransmit them at a higher power. This is the linear cable engine. It pays out and recovers the cable and repeaters by holding them between 20 pairs of tires, which turn to handle the cable work. This linear cable engine is suitable for high-speed laying operations, therefore it is used mainly for installation work. The entire cable operation is commanded from the cable control room, monitoring and recording cable tensions, supervising the progress of operations by remote control TV, together with measuring bottom profile data by precision depth recorder and other equipment. The cable control room is the headquarters, instructing the wheelhouse the speed of the ship and the cable payout recovery speed to the cable engine room, in order to confirm and perform that the cable is properly and safely laid. KDDI Pacific Link is a stern operating cable ship. For smooth paying out and recovery of cable, repeaters and branching units, a big sheave 3 meters in diameter is equipped at the stern. At a designated point, the cable is connected with the terminal of the other cable previously laid from the other end of the route. Cable jointing on board the ship is essential for cable laying and repair operations. The jointing requires about 16 hours of continuous work. As the optical fiber is as thin as hair, fusion splicing is carried out while monitoring the work through a microscope. If the fibers are not spliced with perfect accuracy, transmission loss will increase and cause poor transmission performance. In the final stage of cable laying, the jointed cable on board is lowered to the ocean bottom gently with a rope. All sorts of tests are conducted. The jointed cable is released from the rope by using an acoustic releaser. And finally, the cable laying is completed. The work under continuous tension ends here and massive relief courses through the ship. Customer satisfaction is our primary goal. KCS is making utmost efforts to maintain and enhance our high standards of skill and expertise by encouraging and demanding our people to attend in and out company training courses, all in order to meet diversified customer needs. We live in an information intensive world. The exchange of information around the world never stops. In order to maintain this communication flow, our uninterrupted work continues, rushing immediately to the site, being tossed about by heavy seas at times, working through the night every single day to support the global flow of information smoothly and to keep it flowing. Since the laying of the Japan Sea coaxial cable in 1968, connecting Naoetsu, Japan and Nahotka in Russia, KCS has achieved the laying of more than 70,000 kilometers of cable and is responsible for the maintenance of about 100,000 kilometers of cable. Koksai Cable Ship Company Limited is a leading company in submarine cable installation and maintenance and continues to support communication worldwide and the broadband era of today.